This is part two of um, a video about how to set up a haiku gradebook, and we're in the edit grade notation set. Um, so the notation column is where you put a letter grade, A plus A, A minus. Um, so I'll do that right now. I'm not going to painstakingly go through all of them. Oops, I forgot. We have A plus now, A, A minus. Plus and so on and so forth. You can keep hitting add notation until you have all the letter grades. Now the at least column. So this is the way that um, it calculates between which percentages are, are what notation. So if I put 97, it assumes anything between 97 and um, the percentage that comes above is an A plus. So in this case, it's between 97 and 100. And then here, if I put in 93, it'll presume that everything between a 93 and a 97 is an A. And then 90, it will um, calculate that every, anything between a 90 and a 93 is an A minus, and so forth. So um, that's just setting up what values correspond to what letter grades. Now, when entered. This is a little bit trickier. The reason this feature is here is that Haiku presumes that in addition to giving students points or percentages, that you might give a student a letter grade as a grade on an assignment. But if you give a kid an A, for example, Haiku needs to know what percentage to use when calculating the student's average. So it doesn't want to presume that you want to give a kid a 93 because that's the lowest possible value of an A. So it gives you the flexibility of selecting a different percentage to use um, for each letter grade. So again, you, this only is being used if you give a student a letter grade on an assignment. So if I give a kid an A, what percentage should Haiku use in calculating the student's average um, along with the student's other assignments? So I don't ever use letter grades, so I haven't, um, it, it matters a little less for me, um, but if you do, you might, or maybe you have, you've given it a lot of thought. So I would say if I give a kid an A, that's, I would, for me, that would be a 95. Um, and maybe an A minus would be a 92, maybe an A plus would be a 99, um, but this is up to you. If you never give a student a letter grade on an assignment in the gradebook, this, these values will never be used. However, if I try to save now without finishing it, it tells you you have to fill in all of these values anyway. Um, so again, if you're not using, um, if you're not giving students letter grades on assignments in the gradebook, these won't be used but they have to be here in the event that somebody does want to give a student a B plus on an assignment as opposed to um, a number of points or a percentage on an assignment. So I don't know, say a B plus is an 88. So I'm gonna click save once I'm finished. Obviously I wouldn't click save until I've done all the letter grades, but this is just an example. Oh, and in fact, I'm gonna call this example here so I don't get it confused with the grade notation set I've actually set up. So I'm gonna click save. And then it brings you to my special score notation set. Okay, so my special score notation set, this is just a way to set up um, notations, for example, um, excused, what you might put in as a grade if you want to say a student is excused from assignment, I don't know, maybe long-term absence or something like that. And then, so if you put in an EX, the student is excused, and that means that that assignment is ignored and not entered into, um, figured into a student's average. Or maybe you might say absent um, and put no credit. So if a student is absent and doesn't complete an assignment and you don't want to give them a zero because you might forget that it wasn't that they just didn't do it, but it was that they were absent, you're going to take it later, you could say absent and then they'll get no credit until you go back in and change it to whatever grade it is once they hand in the assignment. So that's, um, it's completely up to you um, what you put in here. You have to put in at least one. You can't delete them all. You think you can delete them all, but it does tell you that you, if you try to delete all of them and save it, you get an error message. So I usually go with excuse and <laughs> recommend that to people. But again, you just because you're setting up doesn't mean you have to use it, but it expects at least one um, kind of notation in here. So once you've done that, I'm going to hit save. 
And then, ta-da, all your students are pulled into this gradebook. Um, it's showing now section one. Subtotal is, um, this column will show the subtotal of all the assignments. Um, Publish subtotal is if you're sharing assignments with students, you always have to click the little um, concentric semicircles to allow them to see the scores on their assignments after you grade them. And the publish subtotal will just show the subtotal they're seeing at the time based on what grades you publish to them. So if the subtotal and publish subtotal look different from one another, it means you probably haven't published all assignments to students. Full disclosure, I have on a number of occasions gone through graded student homework and then forgot to publish it and had students being like, when are you turning back such and such an assignment? And only to I realize that I've actually managed to grade it, but not um, uh, hand it back in this digital fashion that I'm turning homework back to students. Again, you don't have to publish anything, and if you don't publish anything, students won't even know, they won't see um, any gradebook um, grades in there. So you don't have to use this feature. Um, if you just want to use it like a digital gradebook, you can do that. Um, you don't need to share it with students. Um, add gradebook entry is if you want to add an assignment from the gradebook, like if you give an assignment, um, well, for me, I, uh, all my assignments are online because they um, are digital and it's just much, much easier to collect them that way. But if you are giving um, traditional paper-based homework um, and just want to um, pop in a gradebook entry, you click add gradebook entry um, and then you could say in its assignment and just go through and grade student work um, without creating an assignment for students to hand it online. Um, if you need to change any of the settings you've set up, you can click Manage Gradebook. Um, like I'm going to have to go back in and change my um, grade notations. Um, I'm going to replace it from a template because I set up uh, this one. Yep. I set up a template. And so, um, and handily, um, if you, once you set up a gradebook, if you go back to manage gradebook, you have a choice to save as template. So again, um, if you save it as a template, then when you go into your other Haiku courses, you have these grades set up and you don't need to go back and painstakingly re-enter all of these um, values again. Save, nope, but I do. I placed it, yes, okay. Okay, super. So now my, um, my, my grade notations are correct. Um, and I think that's it for adding your gradebook right now.